In the second video from the simulation team, we will be revealing some more details about our next revolutionary product, the F400HR for the training and simulation market. We'll be speaking to our R&D director for projection, Sigmund Jensen, who will explain a little bit more about what it is our customers are looking for and how we are addressing that in this new product. So, Sigmund, what is really the F400? The F400 is the world's first native 4K simulation built in Italy. This unit is a first prototype version that was ready back in November last year. We see no use to do rigorous testing and qualification before moving to the next phase. It's quite exciting as we have built a brand new projection platform that really takes into consideration the needs of our customers on so many levels. That's very exciting, so can I explain in what way? Well, the overall goal of our customers is to achieve more efficient training with even higher performance and flexibility than before at the lowest. So that is on a high level what we have been focusing on and developing this brand new projection platform. So, in more detail, how are we addressing this in the F400? For instance, in order to take resolution and image performance to the next level, the new F400 series offers flexible resolution by utilizing improved processing power of native 4K F2200 protocols. In addition, we also offer pixel shift solutions both internal and external IG pixel shift for resolutions way beyond 4K. The processing power itself in the F400 is a massive achievement. That sounds pretty unique. Yes, yes. And something the simulation industry has not seen before in a single chip projection product. With F400 projector, we now have a product that is a good fit for 2 to 2.5 Archimedes requirements. This is important. For instance, for certain high-performance applications such as fast jet, pilot and mission training, as well as advanced driving simulation and R&D applications. The 240Hz processing power is also key for supporting fast frame rates, for improved dynamic resolution and dual input requirements. For instance, overlaying infrared and visual color content when training with night vision goggles or programming active stereo. So what else are we addressing in the F400 that is important for our customers? It is important to ensure that the same quality of training is maintained throughout the simulator's lifetime. In other words, the experience you get in the simulated training environment should be the same on day one as in five years from now. So in product terms, how is that secured? There are several elements that come into play, but one especially important aspect is the solid state light source used in the product and how that has been designed to secure outstanding performance and predictability over time. Being a full solid state product means that there are no moving mechanical parts like color or fossil units which means more F time and less maintenance. It is rock solid and fully rated for shock and vibration, so you can trust the product to perform 24-7 even when installed on motion platforms. The F400 projector is equipped with a speckle-free RGB high-speed light source that was not compromised on the initial Are there any elements that are kept from previous products and brought forward in the F400 as well? Yes, we are bringing forward our powerful and scalable Barcode Pulse platform, which means that customers that have already done integration work using Pulse on other Barcode products, this will be directly compatible with the F400 via the unified communication interface. Also, all our current FLD pipe lenses are compatible on the new F400 series. Great, so is there any concluding remarks? There are so much more to say. 
It doesn't just end by saying that the F400 is a product that is designed from the ground up for the training and simulation customers need, with all the functionality that this entails. So thank you, Sigmund, for giving us this revealing insight of what sounds like a beast, the new F400 HR. And stay tuned for our new video updates coming out in a few months' time. Until then, you can visit the Barco website for more information.